welcome to Supercross coverage on the Big 49. Today we're coming out of the Northeast for all the fans in New York, New Jersey, and... Jack and Joe went up to help both with a buck and a quarter. Joe came down with 250. Oh! Ah. Man, all right, the LCQ for the 250s in the books. Our friend Derek Kelly did not make it, but... Uh, 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 another friend of the show is uh, Dylan Schwartz, who got a last second like Christmas present right there at the line and ended up I'm, making it into I, the main event. I'm really bummed though for Derek. I'm I'm seriously bummed. I wonder if what he got, happened to him. He I had a he, bad race. I wonder if he got like a bad slice of pizza or something. Seriously, I, I, I know mean, De- Derek going to the LCQ period a, is not good, and then him. Yeah. Doing you have to, fold, you have to it. fold it, right? Yeah. Well, in yeah. New York, it, you know, you here the pizza. Yeah, yeah. In here, it, like it, maybe he didn't it, fold the pizza. Here in Los Angeles, in California. You know, we've got taco trucks on every corner. You can go just about anywhere and get, you know, a taco. In New York, it's pizza. Pizza Yeah, but it's all the same pizza. It's that soft, gooey, hold it by the back of the crust and the thing folds over. You got to fold it or the damn thing will fall over and all the crap will slide off the top of it. (laughs) Yeah. I hate New York pizza. I live there. I'm like, this stuff blows. You didn't like the New York pizza? No. It's like, ugh, whatever. It's funny because I had a conversation. Like Chicago. With the program director of a very, very prominent prominent Los Angeles radio station, which I shall not name, but I will say this. He's a New York guy, and I asked him, I said, what's your favorite food in the world? And he goes, I'm a New York guy, man. Pizza. That's what I do. Pizza. I'm like, okay. damn, I'm tacos. Tacos all day long. I need taco anywhere. You can just hand me a taco. It's like, oh, right, cool. Okay. It, tacos are he, like the perfect food. That's but here's the difference. The mule. But here's the difference. <laughs> you go to most of America... And they think tacos is effing Taco Bell. That's the problem. Yeah. Like it, you get, it's got to be like with the border states that have really good Mexican food. But you can get pizza anywhere. You can, and you can get New York pizza anywhere, Chicago pizza, different kinds of pizza anywhere. So I'm just pizza saying, like, is easy to do. But man, Mexican food in New York is like shoot me in the nuts. I, I don't know how you mess up a taco. I mean, I've had everything from fish they mess tacos, them up. fish they mess tacos, them up carnitas tacos, carne asada tacos, uh, street style tacos, Taco Bell style tacos, yeah. uh, deep fried tacos, hard shell tacos, soft shell tacos, yeah, flour Pen- tortillas. Penis tacos. Uh, wait a second. I, yeah. I'm not going to the boys market where you're going to. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, there's so many different variations of tacos where you got, you know, some have lettuce. They're not good in the okay. When I lived in New York and I lived there for a little while, every time the first thing I did when I got home from the like on the way from the airport, I stopped and got Mexican food because I missed it so much because there was none. There's none. There's wow. none there. It's Taco Bell and nothing else. It's disgusting the Mexican food in New York. Wow. Like okay. bad. It's bad, bad, bad. Yeah, well, as I said, the, I asked this program director. He's like, "No, pizza, man. Pizza's all my my deal." Yeah, and I was like, "Wow, okay, pizza's your deal." Yeah, pizza's right. every corner in New York. So he could have got himself a bad slice. Is all I'm saying with Derek. Yeah, that's Derek? it. Didn't fold it. I mean, you're you're D- from Nah, Dirty Water Hot Dog Man is what he might have got. Ooh. Dirty Water Hot Dog Man. See, they sell the hot dogs in all the corners in New York. With the Frank, but, the Frank Worst, right? Yeah, with the, but they're they're pretty good. But a lot of times you walk up and the dude will like crack open the fire hydrant to fill the bucket to boil his dogs. <laughs> And oh, you're like, really? oh, dude, Dirty Water Hot Dog Man is disgusting, <laughs> but somehow they end up being pretty tasty. <laughs> dirty Water Hot Dog Man? Yeah, you do, like the Dirty Water Hot Dogs are a good thing. Just like White Castle, the Murder Burgers, those are an there, acquired uh, taste. They're no in and out, but they're, they're like... like, uh, <clears throat> like a- Random dogs running around there, or what? Oh, oh yeah, dude, you don't know what you're getting. You go into Chinatown, all bets are off, bro. <laughs> but the Chinese food is the best I've ever had, and so is the Italian food in New York. See, I I, I felt that way about San Francisco. San Francisco, best Chinese food I've ever had, best Italian yeah, food I've good. ever had. Very good, very good, both very good in San Francisco as well. For for the West Coast, it's it's by it's by far the best. Yeah, I, I yeah. recently went to Wyoming. <clears throat> we went to a steak uh, steakhouse. By the that way, was the best. Wyoming, for sure. Wyoming, yeah. we no good Me- Chinese food. There was yeah. <laughs> more no Mexican Chinese. food. <laughs> yeah. And no, and I went to the Mexican. We ate the Mexican place uh, because dude. all there was was Chinese or that. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so we walk in because it's like this old cafe style looking bar, yeah. you know. And we're like, okay. oh, let's go in. It says food in there. You roll in, there's like one single lane bar, you know? Yep. Ooh. And, you know, chick like smoking back there, oh, yeah. running it, you know? Oh, yeah. And she That's looks at you and looks you away, you know? She's having like a filterless. And so you see the food sign, so you walk by. Yeah, a little filterless right, right there. Into the China. A cigarette. It goes right into the Chinese, like, like yeah. little lounge right there. Yeah. Right? And there's like this little kid in there. What just do you want? With all the toys, dude. Want? And like nobody else in there. And oh, dude, it's 
Like nasty smell. Gnarly. Fish, bro. Gnarly. Nasty. Yeah, gnarly. Was the food good? We didn't go there. It smelled oh. way too bad, so we went <laughs> across to the Jewish guy that was running the, oh, the Chinese Mexican. food. Oh, okay. He, uh, he's Jewish guy running Mexican food? Mexican food. <laughs> ah, nice. Huh. And, and I'm not going to say it wasn't bad. It, it worked. Oh, come on in, boys. One guy. I, I, running I the made whole you, show, bro. I made you some burritos. <laughs> One show, bro. He, you know? Jeez. We wow. alone had like six or seven people with us, and then there's like another table. He cooked all the food. He served nice. all the drinks. He got all. Okay. He did wow. everything. One one man show. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's oh, impressive. Oh lord! I made you some burritos. Right. They're really good. So it took a little while, you know. Oh, man. I, I drove all the way here from New York just to make you some burritos. Yeah. And he's got pictures of Cabo in the back and stuff, you know. Wow. Wow. Yeah, here in L.A., we've got a lot of Mexicans, and yeah. they have really good Mexican food. That's the wonderful thing. It ain't no it, joke, man. It, in New York, it's no. all it's got, all like bro. Puerto Rican, so that there's no there's not a lot of Mexicans in New York, and so they don't have really but good authentic say, Mexican when food. When I went to the damn steakhouse there, oh yeah, that steak was oh. triple the size of any steak I've ever seen in California. Oh yeah, any yeah. any wow. flimmy any steak anywhere, bro. Yeah. It was just good. Oh, was yeah. it well done? Well, okay. Nice. Well done. Because, yeah. I mean, a steak has to be also done properly. So, I mean, it, if it's, it, if it's it, done it, right, right, good. Yeah, um, steaks are wonderful. So, what are we doing? Uh, 450 LCQ going on right now? With nobody really, you know, in it that shouldn't be in it. The bok, bok, bok. Yeah. Bok, 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 bok. <laughs> Just saying. So, we're getting bok, bok. ready to wrap that up. And then, by the way, the big show is about to start because I think there's more hype on this 250 because it's the East-West shootout. Yeah, it's going to be there is deal. on the 450s oh, tonight. By far. Yes. The 250s are the race that you would go to this race for tonight. If, yeah. if you were in New York and you're like, I want to go see Supercross tonight, you're not going to see the 450s tonight. You're going to see the 250s. Even though the 450s are interesting tonight. They're, they're interesting, interesting, but they're not phenomenal. It's not like a typical 450 race where you're just going, wow. The 250s tonight, because you have such strong, the East versus West you know, showdown right now, yeah. that's that's really what it, where it's at tonight. So. And it, it's the last couple of times we're going to see the brothers race. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really is until yeah. the, until they're both on four fifties up in the yeah, yeah. four hundred and fifty class for sure. Very cool. So dirty water hot dogs. I, I've never heard that term by the way, right? Oh yeah, no dirty water hot dogs are no joke, and they're all over New York, and they're good. But you know, you get a bad one, and woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're <laughs> looking for an outhouse. <laughs> Do you know what else is everywhere in New York? Rats, <laughs> practically rats. on oh, rats. rats. Rats the rats. size of chihu- rats, they're the size yeah. of chihuahuas, right. dude. But uh, they have a TGI Fridays on every corner. They're every TGI Fridays and Dunkin' Donuts are every like they, they, half a block. Well, they love their Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, that's the same way in Boston, though. They love their Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts suck ass. It's the worst donut I've ever had in my life. They have good coffee, awful donuts. I'm gonna say it's no Krispy Kreme. That's all I'm gonna say. It is should it, be called Dunkin' Coffee because it, their coffee's good. Their donuts suck ass. They love their Dunkin' Donuts. Is your, oh, uh, your homie Joanna Angel out there? Yeah, yeah, she moved out there. She back back in New York. She was uh, from New York and moved back out there. Uh, got bored, and I knew she was gutted when I saw some posts going, "Oh, I was home and I got homesick." And all of a sudden, next thing I know, she made her husband uh, uh, small hands pack up and move back there with him. By the way, I just want to say <laughs> shout out to our good friends at Liquid Death, and shout out to our friends at Ghost yeah. Energy Drink for sponsoring today's show, Ooh. and our friends at LBZ. It's all about the lifestyle, uh, and our friends at HYR. So. Go all, ride, all bitch. Green. HYR, they had donuts this morning and didn't tell us. I know, no, 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 I, her, 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 they, yeah. they, they told everybody. everybody but you. Yeah, That's not nice. That. Yeah. That's not nice. They called me. I mean, I'm, I, I'm on social media today, and I go, ooh, they got something going on at HYR for, for the Indiana Redlands, and I'm like, that's cool. I got well, a, Wait a minute. Donuts? Coffee? Wait, I got what? A text, what the hell? I got a text and an email. Come by for coffee and donuts for you, Moto Man, and we're making these special for you. They're, they're the best. I was like, well... I got to prepare for today's show, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one pass and slide. But thank you for offering, dude. And honestly, this morning was awesome, bro. We probably I don't know how many bikes we have come in, bro, but bikes from everywhere. And nice. you brought all over LA. And you brought and, lunch, you know, by the way. People riding in on Indians. Just oh, every kind of bike. Bro. There you go. Every oh, nice. kind of bike. Yeah, and you brought a, you brought lunch today too. So thank you very much. God, that was so good. Can't go wrong with a little Chipotle. You know what I'm saying. Oh, Chipotle is tear the ass out of you. Oh Lord! Yeah, if you like if you like rectal bleeding, Chipotle <laughs> is the lunch for you. Wow, I just had a jerky boy moment there, right there. No, oh, boy. it's tearing the yes, ass out of me! <laughs> it's tearing the ass out of me. Oh, oh I love the jerky God. boys. They're speaking of New York, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's very, very New York. York. 
very New York, but funny, I have to say. They were good. Uh, my Turkey Boys were on. I have to say, our version of Frank Rizzo yeah. is, is Stretch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frank Rizzo is Stretch. I mean, he, he sells silly. He'll sell silly. So, so yeah, sell silly. I'm yeah, the best. I'm the, the best, best tough guy. Listen to me, sizzle chest. <laughs> sizzle chest. I come down there. I sell the crap out of this. Yeah. You buy my freaking radio station, or I smash your freaking head in. How about that, huh? See, tough See? guy. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Tough guy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 No, it'll Pretty work. Good. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna get some new clients for us soon. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, don't forget to get your just for men. Uh, get your, uh, yeah, get yeah, your men. It gets you. It gets you. It gets your, uh, pr- <laughs> get your private men. parts in the right right color form right there. The, yeah. See, there's the eyebrow thing. That's where the Brayton and. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the eyebrow thing. Dang. Wow. Yeah, I don't need that just for. I need just for men on my head, but not on my uh, pubes. I, I'm, I'm good with the pubes. I, don't, I, well, I need it on my beard, too. My beard is solid white at this point. Just, just I'm straight up Santa Claus, but my hair and my beard, but my pubes are still intact. I'm, I don't know. I'm rolling good. <laughs> straight up That's when you know you're old. When you look down and you, got, and you got the great pubes, you're like, oh, man, old age has caught me. <laughs> I have ran as long as I could. It got me. Just, just straight up yeah. gray bush? Yeah. All right. we, oh just for men privates. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, gee whiz. Just for men pubes. <laughs> just for men. <laughs> See, this is why we can't take him anywhere. Yeah, uh, and, and you guys thought I was a bad influence. I'm gonna yeah. call just for men tomorrow and be like, "Hey, listen to me. I got some great pubes. I, I got a radio station. Yeah, you come here. You put them on my pubes. You're gonna say that's, that's, that's why you know? we got left off the list, of Glenn. Exactly. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. say that sizzle chest. He's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna back that up with, "Hey, yeah. hey, hey, is this is this just for men sizzle chest? Right. Hey, jerky. Sizzle chest. <laughs> hey, jerky. Listen, sizzle turn chest. the volume up. <laughs> I need to talk to you right now. Hey, Sizzle Chest. I got something for you. Here's what we do. I do a video. It's me. I pull my pants down. I show you a bunch of gray pubes. Then what I do is I start putting that junk on there. Next thing you know, I got black pubes. And it's all black and shiny like brand new, like the first day I ever had them. Oh, my God. You're like, that Sizzle Chest? That's what we do. How about you buy my radio station? We get a big oh campaign going God. soon. Start selling shit pets. It's oh called Just for Men Pubes. That's oh what it's called. Oh, my God. Would I laugh my ass off if yeah. I heard that Model phone call? Start selling yeah. chia pets. Yeah. <laughs> <Not chia. laughs> oh, man. That'd be the best. <laughs> Mo- Moto would be yeah. selling chia pets like it's nothing, bro. Yeah. Chia <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just <laughs> Big 49 Chia pubes Chia pubes <laughs> You just rub these seeds on your pubes And water them twice a day got a little face of rock yeah. uh, Kin Moxon oh my God. Got a nice little green bush at no time <laughs> St. Patrick's Day every day When I pull my pants down it's Freaking four leaf clover That's what I got <laughs> Hey, it's your lucky day, Sizzle Chest. I got a four-leaf clover right here. (laughs) I can't believe your neighbor hasn't pulled the plug on the school. Uh, Neither neither can I. I think God, that extension cord's all sunbaked now. (laughs) Probably can't even see it. Oh, my. They actually work. Oh, (laughs) cha-cha-cha. Chia pubes would be the best. I don't know why they haven't done that. Oh, my Jason, let's get out of here, dude. (laughs) Come on, you tell me you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't buy a chia. Oh Somebody give you a chia puke for Christmas, you wouldn't grow it. Uh. <laughs> Especially if it was like a lady's bush. <laughs> no, we're talking mo- we're talking moto heads here. Oh my god. Hey, moto's like chia bush. Oh, gee whiz. Moto man loves a chia bush. Oh, I do, actually. Oh, man, just, uh, we're talking about like getting licensing, you know, right from Brayton, right from Moxon. <laughs> oh, you you're know? talking that way. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin Brayton, though, we could do like the eyebrow trimmer. The eyebrow trim. Yeah, you the, trim the, the, the trimmer 5000. Just ring. <laughs> and by the way, it's like a two stroke eyebrow trimmer. Screw wow. the little battery. You just put this thing in there and you fire it up. It looks like a little chainsaw. Like a <laughs> <laughs> do the eyebrows. Now, does it, now hold on. It, does it hit the actual band? Does it go. <laughs> 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 Well, here's what it has. Here's what it has. It has. It's like a '65 motor on it. Oh my god! It's got the little two-stroke engine on it, and it's got it's got trim, it's got cut, and it's got Justin Brayton. Those are the settings. <laughs> and Justin Brayton, you got to rev that thing up and to dump the clutch and just. Oh god! You got to ride it in the band. Yeah, it hurts if it gets stuck. Oh, damn. Yeah. It starts pulling. Oh, damn. He dug a hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You need that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Told you those 12 inch rear tires need to be bigger. Yeah, they they, <laughs> they, they would sell a Supercross. You know that. Oh the moto t- the moto pube trimmer. That would be oh sweet. Oh my god, that would be funny. Yeah, I would laugh. Manscaping uh, on ma- ma- entertainment brought to you by Manscaping. <laughs> gee whiz. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, what was it 450 LCQ coming up here? No, that's or done. done. We're, okay. we're done. We're 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 into the big show. The big show is right. coming right now. Anybody want right to change now. their picks Look. on the 250 uh, main event because that is where we are. Uh, <sighs> I'm leaving mine alone. Wow, Monster Girls are getting good. You know, I, I'm gonna, I got Hunter Jet, Hampshire, Deegan Kitchen. Those are my picks, and I'm riding with them. Yeah. I, I'm going to give mad props right now to oh, Davey Coombs it. though for finally getting Monster on board with the outdoor motocross series because of the fact that, man, is the scenery nice. Yeah, they, but, they keep but it But by the way, how great, how smart is it of the Monster Energy people? Who owns Monster? Is uh, it Coke or Coca, Pepsi? Coca-Cola. Coke owns it. It's just a smart move. It, yeah. they're, they're synonymous with motorsports right now. they just right signed now. up for t- 2025. Yeah. They, yeah. they, kept, they, they kept it indoor going. Indoor and outdoor, so well, good for them. we got another, another year of racing. Another year of racing. Yeah, I'm so, down with I'm that. I'm all about so. that. And it's a good branding for for Monster if you think about it, because you know while everybody else is trying to you know I, get freaking hippie ass I, green I, I, energy I, BS. I, I was gonna say I, I'm gonna sound political here for a second, and normally we don't get too political on the radio. I station, do, but the I fact don't know if you ever heard me, the fact is is that, and I'm saying this openly because we need to ha- have an open conversation about this, and that is there is an all out assault going on against motorsports. Dirt bikes no and small engines in California, in California in particular, and which falls every state. And, later. and we're leading like, the way. Yeah, we lead the way know. for the rest of the states. And, and the, the stupid is just going astronomically insane right now. And yeah. the, these corporate people, the people that own these big corporations, are literally the ones spearheading this crap. And they're taking so much, like, like, hey, yeah. you have to have this fuel injected, and they make all these laws, and all the manufacturers go and do it. Yep. But and they then, I'm sorry, that's not a good enough. Yeah, yeah take it. Now I need it. you to do this. Yeah. Like, come on. Now you need Let's, to be all know? electric. Yeah. Even your yeah. electric bikes, you can only ride yeah, on close course. take those away, too, later. Like, let oh, them go out right. there, and then take them back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on. Exactly. Sure. And it's... Like you said that. And what bothers me about this more than anything else is, how many people do you employ over at HYR? About 30. Yeah, thirty people 30 that read the huge re, business, but it's, 30. No, yeah. but it's thirty people that have a job that have their livelihood tied up in the motorsports industry in your local area. That's thirty people that are doing well, that are that are earning a living, yeah. that are taking care of themselves, and they're paying their bills. And because HYR is right. is giving those people a job, that's a good thing. What what happens when all of a sudden no more gasoline engines? Right. How many Stark Vargs are there? So that's interesting, bro, because I'm in those like the dealer meetings that I go uh-huh. to. So we meet yeah. with like 20 dealers or whatever. Yep. One time we did a little stat, and it said like, "Hey, we have between all of our dealers, right? Yep, 250 employees, yeah. whatever." But but it was pretty interesting because it would be like, we sold uh, between all these dealers. Forty million dollars or something like that—that's getting yeah. would be taken yeah. taken which away, is bro. tax revenue, by the way. Yeah, all tax as revenue. well. Yes, and, and, you know. Yeah, that's my point. I mean, it's it's bad for everybody when they go after the small and, engines and that's just slash our they don't thirty care. employees that we're looking at. We're not looking at Yoshimira or who's making yeah. our pipes or who's mm-hmm. doing the tires yeah. or who's doing. And they rely. This, I mean. Look at how many people are in that stadium right now in New York. Mm-hmm. Okay, look at how many people are there right now. All of them are motorsports fans, and they're there to hear the engines, to see the bikes, to see the bikes flying. And they're like, if you haven't been to a Supercross race live and up close, I highly recommend you going. Awesome. If you've never yeah. been to one, you gotta go. You gotta see mm-hmm. it live and up close because seeing these bikes fly 40, 50, 60 feet in the air. And especially when they have these long jumps that like jump over the the starting gate and come back down, there. I mean, this is really an amazing sport. It, by yeah. far, bro. It's I an, mean, am- you know, that's a- yeah. It's an amazing sport, and to to you know the the fact that they we rely on the fact that these bikes make noise because noise is also a safety issue. Mm-hmm. I just saw yeah. a post this week on Facebook about a woman who lost her husband. Um, you know, he was out pleasure riding. He had a, a big bike. You know, I think it was probably a Harley or something, but he had a, a big bike. And he was going down the road, and a motorist didn't pay, wasn't paying attention to him and broadsided him, and bam, you know, killed him. And I said, loud pipes save lives. That's what I, I that's what I wrote in the in the in the text. I said, loud pipes save lives. 
you know, the, the fact that, you know, motorcycles are a part of our culture. It's part of who we are. It, it's part of what defines us and what we love. And we've got to start standing up for ourselves politically and going, no, you're not taking away our bikes. You're not taking away our dirt bikes. You're no. not taking away our street bikes. You're no, not taking I, away our and like bikes. I was talking to Kyle about this earlier, but like, okay, we want electric. Fine. Electric's fine. There's some yeah. performance there that everybody might, might, they might like. Right. Yeah. But it's only a percentage, bro. It's not take no. away. Yeah. Because they've already done that so many times. You know, yeah. they that's need why to add electric. we had carbs. Yeah. Now we have fuel injection now, but it, it just keeps getting taken away. It's just yeah. fee, fee, fee. Yeah. You know? And, and yeah. I'm, and, that's that. That's what we've got to stop. We've got to stop this in its track. And this is where I say that I'm. I'm not usually a fan of saying everybody needs to get political and go after these people. No. But, but you have to. Called it earlier. Yeah. You have is to. that you have judges. Yeah. You got judges. Very we, important to vote on your. Very judges. important to vote on your on your judges and know their political background not, because because they will go with their political b- beliefs. I think you called that yeah. earlier, yeah. bro. You know, yeah. higher up, whatever. Right. I mean, as much as nobody likes our governor and Cal, you know, yeah. anybody Douche, I talk to doesn't. Douchebag. You know? Yeah. No, he's a complete idiot. But. But that, if, if, we got, if, if, if we got rid of him, if we got rid of of, of, of Gavin Dusham, and let's say that a Republican came in and goes, I want to change this. When he started trying to change it, the courts would stop him because the courts would all be Gavin Dusham uh, liberals that would stop any change. So uh, changing the governor to another party isn't going to help this problem. It needs to be completely blown up. From no, and, there, and there's no the courts angle anymore everything. that yeah. shows like, yeah, I'll look at your side or your side. Mm-hmm. It's no. it's I'm going to go with your side no matter what. Right. You and, know, and that's what they're doing. You know, it's yeah. wrong. What what yeah. used to make living in California and living in the United States a great thing was you can do your thing, I can do my thing. Yes. Right. You're gonna no, you leave, can't. You got to do my thing and like it. You're going to leave me alone and I'll leave you alone and we're all cool and I'll go out and do my thing on my dirt yeah. bike and leave me alone. And you can have go, a bonfire. Or, or, no, or hey, I got some dust. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. You didn't have to go call the cops or nothing. Just tell me. Just mm-hmm. tell me about it. And we'll fix that. And I won't ride here or I'll dust or what. You and, know what I mean? And now, some water down, you know? And now right. everything is literally World War Three. Everything yeah. is the hugest, you know, right. I'm, I'm going to drop an atom bomb on your house because I don't like the way you wash your dirt bikes in your front yard or whatever it is. And it's it's bad. It's like, what, what happened to our culture? What happened to our people? You know, yeah. where we could just get along and, and go about our lives. And, and part of the cool thing about motorcycles, and I think what scares people about motorcycles politically, is the fact that motorcycles is a sign of independence. It's a sign of, I'm a, I'm a free person. I can do what I want. I can go free where bird? I want. Did you say free bird? It's, yeah. well, it is. It's yeah. it's, bit, it's its, it's own a, free bird. Your own, your own thing. Like, there's yeah. a sign. It's, it's a feeling of freedom. Like, it, you know. I, I'm speaking probably to the choir because most people are it listening is a to this feeling of freedom because people go out, they yeah. release stress. Right. Uh, yeah. hey, it's, it's fun to be outdoors, angles, bro. It's, you know, fun. it's fun to be outdoors. You, if some you, people go and be, you know, it could be a cop, you could be a, a, a doctor, you could right. just be yeah. swinging, swinging hammers. It doesn't matter what their line of work is. The rest of your week went, you know, went away, and you because you hopped it. on your bike because you, you forgot, forgot about, about it. it. Yeah, exactly. For the, for the most part of the day. I've been riding motorcycles since Weather I was... Weather delay. They just pulled them out of the gate. Oh, oh crap. Man, that's bad. Yeah, I've mm. been riding motorcycles since I was five years old. Okay? Motorcycles mm. are an, an integral part of my life and always have been since I was Very a much. little kid. I right. can't live without one in a lot of respects. And for other people to come into my life and try to tell me what I can and can't do and how it, it violates their representation on what they think in the world... Frankly, we've got to put our foot down. We got to go. No, you're the problem. You're telling everybody that they have to do something your way because yeah. you can't leave others alone is the bigger yeah, problem. There's other countries that run so many motorcycles instead of cars, and yeah, mm-hmm. we should be doing that. Exactly. I, right. I'm, I think it's a better it's, form a of bad, transportation. It's better transportation. I'm gonna ride a horse personally. Boat. Yeah, of course, and that's what we're I'm, talking I'm gonna go about green earlier. and ride a horse. Of course, you're yeah. going to ride a horse until the Everywhere. horse goes pooping. Because guess what? They're going after now. They're going. Oh no, after, that's that's natural fertilizer. They're going. No, they're going after livestock. They're going after horse farms. They're going after cows. They don't want us eating cows. I mean, the latest one I saw this week well, was every we, business. We like don't want people eating meat. Pump was going out, bro, and you can only buy a one horsepower now instead of a one and a half or two. Right. Yeah, it, God, yeah. Uh, you know, it's ridiculous. What the? 
Yeah. yeah, it's it, dude. It's everything. But you know they're getting rid of gas appliances now too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the heat in your house, the oven in your house, the stove so, in your house can all be gone. So everybody knows that the easiest and best way to cook uh, cook food, like if you want the best way to cook your food, it's going to be on a gas stove. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're going to want to cook on a gas stove. Where are the people that utilize gas stoves standing up and going, no? Well, he, enough he, is enough. You're not taking away my stove. Here's a serious question. A serious question is, if you look at uh, electricity, what happens every summer when everybody cranks on their ACs? Oh, we're going to have a brownout. We're going to have a blackout. California can't even keep the lights on. So now now let's talk about all of our ovens are going to be electric. Every appliance in our house is going to be electric. Our cars are going to be electric, and our cars are going to be charged every night. How's that going to happen in the summertime? It's not. We don't have the infrastructure to support their idealistic dreams. We do not. No, California has no infrastructure for this. Yeah, at we're all. gonna we're gonna have. No, oh, well, just I can't like, come to work today like because going my back car to the didn't 30s or something, dude. Well, like, yeah, you know? and, and the problem is, is you can't do things like livestock. You can't have horses. You right. can't have cattle. You can't do the things because they're going after those guys too. And, and I mean, let's talk about how bad for the environment these damn batteries are in the in the long oh, run. They're as horrible. Well. Yes, they're absolutely horrible. So the moral of the story here is, is if, as a culture, as a people, we need to start standing up and going, no, motorcyclists will not stand up for you taking away our small engines and taking away our dirt bikes and taking away our, and our lawnmowers and, and, and our leaf blowers. And our leaf blowers. Right. We're not doing this. I don't care what you've signed. You're going to unsign it because you work for us. You're the government that works for us. Right. We don't work for you. The school board. Well, we got to get works those for clowns us, out of office. All these guys. It's just yeah. a matter of like sitting down and getting an opinion, not... And not getting the agenda By the way, that, written that around you, bro. State attorney general has to go. All yeah. the judges have mm-hmm. to go. The governor has to go. The lieutenant governor has to go. Mm-hmm. I mean, down the line, dude, the district attorney's yep. got to go. Everyone's got to go in this entire yeah, system clean. that is California. And it's Everyone. sad to me, man, because I've grown up in this area. And I still, dude, you know how many people we know. We talk sure. to everybody around here. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go into a store somewhere. I was in Big Bear dropping off, or Lucerne. Lucerne stop, Valley. Stop by this little random street yesterday, dude, going up through Big Bear, went down the wrong street, mm-hmm. met a guy in a trash truck, right? Yeah. So I pull over, and I got an Indian scout on the back trailer, right? Okay. And he pulls up next to me and, and asks me to stop so he could take a picture. Oh, yeah. So nice. I start talking to him. His son bought a bike from us. Oh, sweet. He wants to get one. You know, yeah. all the, and this oh, is wow. just on some random street out in Big Bear somewhere. Yeah. Hell like, yeah. we know a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. You know? And it's just well, crazy we got to get me. politically active with when all those people. people talk person to person and everybody's feelings are what they are you know yeah. nobody wants to agree with anything that's coming down no. this agenda bro no no and, we, and we've got to put an end to it we really do have to put an end to this it's it enough is enough it and, is. It's sickening, and right? what, what saddens me is the fact that the motorcycle industry and I'm, I'm going to point a finger back at us for a second here because it's partially our fault the motorcycle industry never stands up and says no we are not doing that we're not going to take what you're throwing at us. I'm sorry. I mean, I think about KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas. They just built an entire facility for $53 million down mm-hmm. in Temecula, California. Yep. Now, KTM is the only brand out of those three that has an electric bike yep. even marketable on the market. Okay? Honda's been doing research. So I've Honda, seen, I've seen so I've several seen research. A little bit of news yeah. on Honda. And by 30, they're, they're planning on having like... That's like, because by 35, there's going to be no more gas well, bikes. But they're only planning on having like four to six bikes yeah. that yeah. are coming out. Yeah. You know, So it's only a, a percentage. Okay, So yeah. it's just like they're like, oh, well, we'll give you this. But there's no way they're going to reduce well, the battery whole manufacturing, all that over over that. The battery technology happen. can't even get you to where the, the tank of a gas, a, 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 a tank of fuel can get you. Right. right. So if I, if, if I, you know, let's say put a fresh battery in my bike right now. And I go off the 15 out in the Inland Empire up up towards, you know, the two. Uh, we usually right. used to do that. that thing yeah, that, well, we used to do that loop up there. If if you do that loop, that's like a 45, 50-mile hmm. loop. That means by the time I get to the two at the top of the hill, I'm done. Right. I can't ride anymore. I'm out of I'm out of no. of, of charge. <laughs> out of charge. I'm out of charge, and I'm. You better have a big done. solar uh, flare backpack, and on I'll be something. damned if I'm going to be pushing a 200 pound motorcycle right. 35 miles back to my truck. No. Yeah. It's not going to happen. No, just you know. 
It's well, you got to ride on a closed track anyways, because that because even after we go full electric, the push is now going to be, hey guys, eliminate uh, all state riding areas. You can't ride out this or any tax increase or anything. I've always been against that, and I just want to like you guys want to live my life and do my thing. Leave me the f alone, and that's not what we're getting anymore. But I'll be a guy that's going to leave this state. I promise you. I'm oh. go- I think if I go, I'm going to Utah. That's my plan. Yeah, I might go to Utah. But Utah is openly said. I've had a couple friends that moved to Utah already from yeah. California, and Utah as a state has already said we don't want any more Californians. Yeah, we don't. I want don't blame you here. them. We don't want you here. We 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 don't like you here. We don't want you here. We're yeah. going to make it very un- unhospitable for you here. Yeah, but even for them, the voting system's been a mess. Our voting system's a mess. No matter oh, what, yeah. California's you know? vote has but been that's a not sham. Just California, the federal, whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? California like, votes have been such a sham for so been long. Sham for years, bro. Yeah. It's, you know, it's been a giant well, It's like shame. that judge you want to choose. Like, okay, I get two judges to yeah. choose from, and we're... And by the way, a no lot of times... On, you know, no, it's one, so hard to look one, into them. One and, says know. he wants to chop off your wiener, and the other one no. says he wants to chop off your testicles. Which you, one do you go which for? Which one do you go for? You guys, here's how I do it. I'm right. not kidding. I ba- I look and see who's backing them and who's supporting them and who's endorsing them, and then I yeah, know. But the problem, as I said, Stretch, is one wants to chop off your wiener, the other one wants to oh, chop off your testicles. Which one a, do you vote for? There's a lot of times where you're right, where, where there isn't a good choice. There's and no at that point, I, I don't right. vote on in that one. I look at it and go, I don't want either one of these people. I'm going to have no part of it. And I think that should be a point. Like, I don't want either one of these, and let's vote. And if 80% of the people say, I don't want any of these guys, then neither one of them should make it. You won the vote. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You you didn't win. Yeah. You didn't win. You didn't win. Done. Yeah. Find some other people. Go to the LCQ. Yes. (laughs) Go to the LCQ. Right. Go to the LCQ. Uh, LC judge. Last chance judge. judge. Last last chance judge. Go to the LCQ. We'll we'll see in in, in next round. And guess what? Before before anything changes. There's three more judges that just don't sit on the bench because nobody liked you because you're all a bunch of... You know, yeah. Well, well, hey, speaking of this line of talking, and I know I talked about it on the show early last week, but the woke alerts I thought were the funniest thing I saw all week. <laughs> woke whereas alerts. Whereas people now are, you can sign up for this service called woke alerts, and when a company is doing like crazy woke stuff, like something that you don't gel with, let's say it's your favorite, you know, uh, uh, chip company or beer company or whatever, you're like, this is what I eat, and then. Next thing you know, they're only hiring uh, trans activist or some tree hugger or something. You get an alert now, uh, and uh, so you nice. know not to not to use that product speaking anymore. Speaking of the yeah. anti, but every company's on that. By speaking the way. <laughs> of the anti woke alert, uh, I want to give a big shout out to our good friends at R Jerky, uh, Robbie and R J Wageman. These guys are the anti moto racers. These are the moto guys. These are the guys that are actually out putting it down racing. They sell. They make a really great product. It's a, it's they a pay wonderful for product. parking. They paid for parking. They pay for everything. They pay for it, parking. Pay for <laughs> packaging. Put their beef jerky in. They're in all yeah. seriousness. These are good guys. They're really, really solid dudes. And if you want a great product and you want to really support you know, support the sport, uh, buy some our jerky. Are they coming back out of the track or is this, this old is a, footage? This is Atlanta. Oh, damn! They're, They're going to show Atlanta, Atlanta because of so that. It's going to be a while then. Yeah, wow. by the way, it's thunderstorms rolling in because they're even taking the fans out of the stands. Really? So that means Jeez. the thunderstorms rolling through the area and they don't want anybody to get zapped by lightning is, is what that, happened. That's what it is. They huh? get lightning yeah. in New York, too. Lots of, by the way, the most amazing thing, I lived right next to this stadium, uh, the East Rutherford. Yep. I lived right on the hill next to the stadium and I could see it out the back window of my house and I could also see the skyline of New York. Uh, Watching the Empire State Building get pelted with lightning and a thunderstorm is I'm, I'm effing out. cool, dude. It's so, so is this cool. race just done today or what? Are we done? I'm, I'm, no, they'll be back, but I don't know when. I'm going to say it we're gonna come back next week. It looks like it's pretty much cooked. <sighs> it feels like we're done. It, seriously, it looks like we're cooked. I mean, you know, I'm watching last week's race now. And yeah. they're just they're just filling time is all they're all right. doing. Well, let's play some rock and roll and hopefully we get yeah. back. So we're gonna play. I'm gonna play, gonna play ACDC happens. and we'll come back after this. It's a big forty nine. Work on that chia deal. <laughs> chia. <Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch
They're showing the Atlanta Supercross over right now because of the thunderstorms in the area of New York, New Jersey. They evacuated the stadium. People are now standing in the concourse. The bikes have been back put underground. Um, now, they say nothing. weather delay, right? Uh, hold, but, hold on but, here. Hold on. I, I just got late breaking news here. Um, the winner of today's race in the 250 division, uh, you got Hannah, Ward, <laughs> Emig. Number four. Yep. Deegan. Okay. And the and the double dark. And, and the double dark on this. Uh, oh, a, 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 Mike Brown. Mike Brown. Oh. Mike Brown. Mike Brown. My dog. Yeah. Wow. And, and, oh, Justin Brayton came in. It, as uh, double dark. Uh, apparently, they 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 did a, and they, Weege was uh, number ten. Yeah, Weege called the race. Weege, Weege called the race. It was amazing. So yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> kind of pissed. Like, what the hell? Yeah, it's a it's a bunch of crap. Did you get your money back on this one? I no, I did not did get my money back? back. I didn't get my money back on the ticket price. But you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be the nice guy here. I'm gonna give when we close the show today. Yeah. today I'm gonna give Sean Brennan a little shout out. I'm gonna give him some Motley Crue. Yeah, that's what we should do. So I understand he's trying to make a good decision, bro. It's the weather, but I, I don't know. It. They may come back, but remember, dirt bikes do like. Uh, he, they do here's like mud the know what we're against. They got three hours yeah. ahead of us. They're in New York, New Jersey, and by the way, if you go past midnight ever in anything in New York and New Jersey, the union fees that you have to pay will bankrupt you. Like you, oh yeah, you will lose your ass. So no one's gonna do that. So they'll cancel before they push past midnight. But we are now coming up on. Seven is going coming up on seven our time, so that's ten o'clock. Ten their o'clock time. their time. Yeah, yeah. So they're and they're, they're saying done. it's going to be ten to midnight. Straight up thunderstorms. So they started running Atlanta here on TV, which is yeah, was kind of weird because we were like, "What's going on?" Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. They're, they're running the Atlanta race, which means they're just filling time. So what do they do? Do they make this up, or do they just say that was canceled? Um, no, I think they give DNFs on the whole thing. Uh, basically saying, hey, nobody gets a completion on this, and they're going to have to make it up either on the next race and or they're just going to cap the points and move on to the next one because yeah, but, they but only you, have one more bye week before we go into outdoor. Outdoor right, starts, and as a, and as a ticket yeah. guy there, you know, you're going to – you made it 60% through the race, 60-40, right? Yeah, 60-40. You made it through 60% of the race. Yeah. You, you, you got your you got your money's worth. You came to the you show. You didn't get to see the East West Shootout. That's what everybody paid to see. But you, you didn't. You, it didn't happen. You, you, you came to the show and the show didn't happen. Sorry about that. You paid your money. You took your chances. You know, yeah. I I don't I don't see them doing that unless, of course, they literally canceled the entire event. But they've already gone through about sixty percent of the event. So the only thing left was the two main events. Yeah, two main events is it. By the way, if we didn't have they 500 had three races, LCQs, and it wasn't boring, bro. Like they was, dude. No. Think about it. If you had canceled the Louisa. LCQs in the futures, we'd have had our effing race today. That means I won. That means Jason won today. Jason, congratulations. No, that man. means we all lost today. Congratulations, no, I won because I'm the only one that picked the no, I futures. Mean, everyone yeah. has. Well, congratulations, fans. Jason. Jason, you know, you know, for that, we're gonna go fishing. And I'm gonna win. I win because I'm this. I just went and got you this got liquid, death. Tea, liquid death. Liquid <laughs> death. Armless <laughs> power. Isn't it? That's First good. time I had one of those. It's good, isn't it? It's Everyone really good. lost. Yeah. All uh, fans Arnold's lost really today. Good. This really sucks. Good. I mean, nothing they can do about it. It's no knock on the Supercross. No, I'm yeah, not mad sucks. at them. But no. but it still, it still sucks for people's money and stuff. You know, it's just... Uh, uh, I mean, you know? I guess I guess as the old bumper sticker says, S happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is racing. S happens. Banging bars. Stuff yeah. happens. Banging bars. People, people fall down. People get raspberries. Hopefully, yeah. you had your helmet on. So... <laughs> That all being said, Jason, what do you got going on at the shop Man. this next week? This week, it's just the end of the month, bro. It is the end of the month. So you do doing realize- that, kind of getting ready for this next month because we okay. got a lot of stuff. We have the the Indian demo truck coming nice. in like two weeks. or May 27th, we're at Paula. May 27th, we'll be at Paula. I'm going to be rocking the Iron Goddesses. Okay. Event, which is a big women's event down here, a bunch of nice. street biking chicks down nice. here. So, yeah. uh, probably going to Denver this month. Uh, it, on the Iron, so. Iron Goddess is a stretch riding in that. Yeah. Okay. Is that, yeah. Is that a, yeah. a a woman cover band by any chance? No. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, it's it's stretch is going to be riding in the Iron Goddesses. Yes. Yeah. I I get that. So just you know, really just catching up, ended up. Okay. End of the week. And stretch. What do you have coming up this week? I have week? dick because I just got effed in the air. I don't know. I don't have any interviews. To I talk got an, about. I got an email from Sean Brennan saying that there are going to be after interviews. No, there's not. I know. I got an email saying there's going to be after interviews. Uh, I don't know what they're going to we'll talk see. about, but we're going to see. 
Yeah, well, good luck on that. Uh, yeah. I'm not sitting around waiting on this all damn night. This is some BS. Okay, we got yeah, that. this is a load of crap. I'm pissed off. Okay. Mm. He's grumpy. Uh, yeah. All that being said, I want to give a big shout out to our friend Sean Brennan at Supercross. And here is some Motley Crew Red just, Hot. Just for you. On the Big 49. Rock and roll. Eat Rock and me. roll, Sean. <laughs>